Today I want to share what I've learned recently about the spiritual essence. Everyone has an essence, but what exactly is that? The companies at the department store will have you believe it's your fragrance, but, and I suppose on one level or another, the, your essence will manifest in your fragrance, but that's certainly not the source. Your essence is your true self, your pure being, and your connection to source. We are all one, and we all share the same essence, and yet there is an infinite number of flavors of that source. When you know your essence, your first reconnection with it, you'll most likely have a life-changing experience of realization and understanding your purpose and getting it on just so many new levels. Your life will never be the same and it will be beautiful. And you can have these experiences a lot. <laughs> so your essence is you. It is your light, the essence of your heart, and not your ego's perception of itself, but your heart's true divine knowing and understanding. It is much more pure and much more centered in love, rather than all of the distortions that we have today on this planet. Divine heart thinking is very pure, and that's not a metaphor. The heart actually has brain cells in it, so you can think with your heart, and it's a totally natural thing to do. So, if your essence is your pure sense of understanding yourself, what is your ego? Well, the ego is your projection of yourself, including but not limited to your essence. Unfortunately for us, from the time that we're born, we are subjected to distortions and vibrations that are very far removed from that pure essence and source, and therefore take you away from yourself. So the ego, instead of having this, this pure identity of its essence to guide itself through life, begins to develop an alternate under understanding of itself based on the distorted experiences that it has. It also, because it doesn't have a basis of understanding itself, tends to get lost in its own thoughts. You often see people walking around in public and you can tell that all they're, worrying, all they're doing is worrying about the various problems that they're perceiving and creating for themselves in their life. Fortunately, people are becoming more and more aware, and this is exactly what needs to happen for this shift in consciousness to take place. It means we're on track. Right, so more about the ego. I went to a spiritual seminar in Los Angeles recently, and the speaker was talking about the ego as if it was the enemy. Um, she spoke about how the ego is what holds us back and there's no room for it in the future of our consciousness. That didn't really work with me, for a few reasons. The first is that by making anything your enemy, that's automatically outside of love. The essence in your heart knows only unconditional love for everything and everyone. So separation from ego can only be harming yourself. It's basically the ego saying, I don't have an ego, and pushing away on it. It's kind of a backwards snake eating its own tail thing. I would suggest that instead of trying to get rid of the ego, allow your heart to take the driver's seat. Your ego is your personality, but your heart is that which guides your sense of self. Coming from a space of unconditional love, you can develop your sense of self based on what you know and love about yourself and everyone around you, and it can be a very beautiful thing. The heart guides the ego with power and not with force. Allow your essence to flow. You can't force anything to happen. You can only allow it to happen. So how does one get into their essence, or know their essence? It's as simple as just being, and setting the intention to do so. Say, I want to know myself. It will definitely help. Allow your mind a break to just be. If you can get into a state of just being and becoming more aware, and you can fall into a pure understanding of who you are and why you're here, everyone has a purpose. So do you. Another good practice is breathing in your heart. Focus on your heart when you breathe. Breathe with relaxation and focus. And lift your breath through your heart in your chest with the vibrations of good feelings and happy emotions. Allow these feelings to flow through you to others that you meet as well. Even if they're not in their flow, don't let their disruption disrupt your flow. Share your abundance and good energy with them however it flows in the moment for you. And don't worry. If you have good intentions and good feelings about what new energy you're bringing into your life, the result will only be filled with love and happiness. And isn't that the goal at this point in time? Namaste.